two T25s. That's what holds this dash piece in. And it kind of slides back. There's two hooks at the back here. That's what it hooks onto. So go ahead and unplug the gauge. Connector, you have to slide the red locking tab back. So when it's when it's locked, it's forwards. And so slide it back and then depress the tab right here to release. Once that's out, the glove box can simply pull simply pull out. I'm gonna remove the next two. Just back here. Same thing. Next, I'm plugging each of the headlights. So, the two gray connectors are headlights, and then you have the map sensor here as well. Okay, map sensor. Same idea, you're pushing the locking tab at the back. Same as the headlights, just a little different. Pushing the locking tab at the back. Next, we have to unclamp the junction between the airbox, I guess the upper airbox and the secondary. And there's a clamp here, we're just gonna use it. Last two fasteners are here. One on either side. Okay, there's three different fasteners. Uh, there's black shorter ones. These ones are for the gauge cluster. The other ones, they're the same length. Okay. This one has a washer and the other one doesn't. So the washer up front, the uh, the plain ones at the back behind the gauge ones. 